Hey guys, this is Michael from NWA3D, and today we're going to talk about Cura 2.7 and go over the very basic settings to get you printing right away. So here, I'm going to go ahead and select my, I need to create a new machine, and this should be the setting that you are currently on. Should be like this, should say add a printer, go ahead and click on custom, and name it NWA3D A5. Hit add printer. And now we should be at this exact same screen. Next is going to pull up machine settings. We're going to change just a few and move on. Here we have X. We're going to select 125. On Y, we're going to type in 150. And for our height, we will leave it at 100. Make sure to change the material diameter to 1.75. And now this entire screen should be good. As long as your settings are these, you should be okay. Click finish. And now we are pulled into the workspace. In this workspace, we have a couple more settings to change. And in order to see those, we are going to have to click from recommended to custom. You should see these small drop down boxes here on the side. You should be able to select those to find the value underneath. This first one, I like to use anywhere from 0 0.1 to 0 0.3. I prefer 0 0.2. On the shell, make sure these are both 0 0.8. On infill density, I prefer to have a value of 10%. Material, make sure to change your material value to printing temperature to 220 degrees Celsius. This is the best temperature for us to melt our plastic at. Make sure the diameter here is actually 1.75. Mine said four because I typed it wrong earlier. Next, we want to change the print speed and we want to change this value to 50 millimeters per second. This is as fast as we can go. We want to change another setting. So by clicking on the cog here, right on the drop down, we should be able to pull up something called setting visibility and we can choose initial layer speed down here at the bottom. This will show many more settings and what else we can change. So click on the layer speed and click close. And now we can change this new value to 15 millimeters per second so that we have a slower beginning area so it prints better. Click generate support here underneath the support and make sure it's selected as everywhere when the next value pops up. Underneath that on build plate adhesion, we're going to change this value to skirt and then all of our settings should be like we want them to be. Once you have all your settings just like so, you can save this profile by clicking here on the star and clicking create. And you can say NWA 3D A5 and click OK. You can now close this menu and we can load in our file. So I'm going to click load file here in the top left hand corner in order to bring in an STL file for us to slice before it goes to the printer. So once I click on STL file, I'm going to navigate to my SD card, which is named NWA3D. And I'm going to grab my shampoo lid. Now we have a couple options that we can choose here. and We can rotate it in different ways. So I know from experience that the best way to orient this is to rotate this object on the side so we can move it back and forth, up and down, side to side. We can scale it, make it bigger or smaller. We can rotate this and I am going to rotate mine to its side so that it's resting more like so and it should print better like this. And then I'm going to look at one other option. I'm going to select a new view mode. So if I click view mode here with the eyeball and select layers, and I'm going to change from material color to line type so I can see what all different types of lines my print will be using and if I need to worry about anything else. So I like to scroll through these just to double check. And I feel like everything is good and I am happy with how it looks. So now I'm going to click here and go to save to file. Click save to file and select my SD card and save it just simply as shampoo lit. Make sure I save this as a G code, like it says right here, and click save. And now I can transfer this to print to the printer and everything should be good. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you have a great rest of your day and good luck 3D printing.